Before starting the tracking procedure, when tracking the belt, you'll need the belt running. So you want to switch on the conveyor, have the belt running, and then you can watch the conveyor run, and you can watch the belt and see if there's any movement or if it's moving over left or right. Once you've assessed the belt, if you need to track it, then you'll come down to the tail here and you'll use the track in here to track the belt left and right. And you do that with the belt running so you can see the movement of the belt as you're tracking it. On the Easy Kit 600, this is the style of tracking that we have with this stud bar here, which is tracked with these two nuts in the middle here. And this style of tracking system is on the Easy Kit 600, 900, and 1200 conveyors. On the Easy Kit 450, however, it has a slightly different style of tracking system. So we're not tracking on the side of the tail, we're not touching any nuts and bolts here, we're tracking right at the back of the tail. So we have this nut here and this nut here, which tracks the belt from left to right. And as we can clearly see at the top here, we've got a nice space on either side of the belt. And again, if the belt was moving over to the right hand side, I would then tighten up the right hand nut, which would move the belt to the left. Just tighten it a couple of turns at a time and then watch the belt move with the conveyor running. If your belt is out of line and your belt needs tracking to keep it nice and straight, to reduce wear and tear and keep the machine running correctly, we'll do the tracking with these stud bars here. Most important is this locking plate here. This locking plate must be undone or loosened so the tracking procedure can be carried out. If this bolt is locked up tight, then the tail won't move. You won't be able to track the tail of the conveyor. With this slackened, it's good enough. Then we can move on to these two bolts here. We don't want to touch the bolts at this end, and we don't want to touch the bolts at this end. It's these two bolts in the middle. We'll loosen off this back nut, which is just a lock nut. We can just wind that down the thread, and then we can use this nut at the front, which we will tighten to pull the drum in the tail of the conveyor, left and right, to move the belt. If the belt is moving over to the left-hand side, the side we're on now, we'll tighten this up, pulling the drum backwards, which will move the belt back over to the right-hand side. And then we do it opposite on the other side, if you want to move the belt over to this side. You have two tracking bars, of course, one on this side, and then same again on the other side around here. If the belt is moving over to this side, we'll tighten up this nut, which will pull the drum back, and that'll move the belt over to that side. And we do it on very small increments. We'll only be turning this two or three threads at a time, and then we'll be running the belt, watching to see where it's moving to, and if it's moving into the right position. You don't want to wind this back a great distance because then the belt will just shoot off to one side and it will all jam up. So very small increments on both sides until the belt is tracked correctly. Please feel free to contact us we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.